Heute sind wir in Belgien. Dort treffen wir Antoine. Antoine ist wahrscheinlich einer der Jüngsten, die wir dabei haben werden bei den Geschichten. Er ist 21 Jahre alt und hat was ganz schön Beeindruckendes gemacht. Und er hat mir jetzt eben Standort geschickt und hat gesagt, ah, können wir nicht zu einem anderen Punkt fahren? Da bin ich schon. Und ich weiß jetzt, warum er das wollte. Die Bullifahrer unter euch kennen das. Er hat die Warmlinkanlage an und steht am Straßen und ich befürchte Schlimmes. Ähm, wir gucken mal, was er hat. Äh hey! <lacht> What? What's going on? I don't know, I cannot start my bus. Should I help you? Yeah, maybe you can help me? To Pushing like a little bit sunshine? Yeah, it should be perfect. <lacht> I will do so. Come on. Hey man! Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. I'm so glad that it's running now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so we can go now to the original point? Yeah. Should okay. I follow you or? Yeah. yeah. Just drive around the corner and I'll come with my car. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, can you show me your car? Yeah, of I course. saw something from the outside which is pretty neat. So. Yeah. You change the, the canvas? Yeah, it's a new new tent. And then I, I, I like the off-road style. So I put the, these jerry can holders. Oh, yeah? And then in the front I installed this, uh, this winch during my trip. This was in uh, Slovenia, I guess. And But you have never used this winch? Yeah, of course. I used. <laughs> it's brand new. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. So then in Turkey I installed these sandboards because uh, of the beach. Okay. I, I had to use them because I was always in, on trouble in the beach. I think this uh, oh, this window is very yes. your special. souvenir window. Yeah. <laughs> like oh that. no, these guys. I've met them in Paris. Yeah, no, oh, it's very cool. nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so cool. Wow. Also, wo der Junge überall war, das müsst ihr euch angucken. Maybe I show you the, the inside. Yeah, I would like to. Wow. So I bought it with this uh, Westfalia roof tent, but the interior is. Uh, It's homemade. <laughs> That's cool. So you got a bedding on top? Yeah, I will show you. So I sleep uh, up here. And then uh, for the interior here, I have a small kitchen uh, with water. I have the water tanks and the gas bottle here. And here I have two uh, gas to cook. And then here, special fridge. <laughs> nice hand. Yeah, it's, it's a nice system and it's working with the solar panel on the roof. So, Very nice. And then here I have like, I love to say a small garage. Oh yeah, it's a parts department. <laughs> yeah, with a lot of tools and a lot of parts of the engine. It's very useful. <laughs> <laughs> and then and you this, can... Yeah, this is also a bed. So, whoop. And you can sleep here with two wow. people. I I'm totally interested about your trip 26 countries in that bus must be amazing yeah i think should we sit down yeah, for that probably. it might be a long story yeah so um you mentioned 26 countries something like that yeah so was it uh, let us go one step back so you're driving a bus yeah and when did you bought it and why did you choose the bus so when i was around 15 years old uh i don't know why but i was really focused on Having a T2B, okay. B, a T2B with <laughs> yeah. 15 years. Yeah, I I want to just after my studies just go and and travel a lot, and then where when I was 15, 16, I, I was really focused on T2B because I wanted this direction rooftop okay, and yeah. not the other one. So then I started to look for one year. I went to Germany, to the Netherlands, to France. And finally, I found this car in Belgium. Okay. Here in uh, Bruges. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you were traveling. <laughs> so how old, how old have you been when you bought it? Uh, I was 18. I okay. Just 18 or 17, and I didn't have any driving license. <laughs> just the theory, theory yeah. parts, but uh, I had no driving license. I had to drive uh, with my parents. So what was your first trip when the you traveled? First trip 
really I, as a trip. It was when I started this one year trip. Uh, we never tried to sleep in the car uh, before? One anything? time, one time. But it was not a trip, it was just to test the materials, yeah. uh, test the kitchen. And then I started this, this one year trip with my three of my best friends. So we started with four guys inside this bus. Then they left in, uh, in Sweden, they left in uh, Stockholm, they took uh, a plane and they go back to Belgium and I continue this uh, one year trip alone. I, I don't like to say alone because when you travel with this bus, you're never alone. <laughs> so did you make any plans for this year trip yeah, or yeah, did you yeah. just know I start and I have to be back? And in, no. in between, do you have to make a schedule where you want to be, where you want to go? Really roughly. Uh, no dates, just the countries. I, I knew I wanted to start it with the north because it was in summertime. In August, I start my trip. So I knew I want to start it when it's, the weather is good because I want to see uh, Sweden, Finland. And then I also knew I want to be in Turkey when it's cold. <laughs> and I went to Cappadocia. I don't know if you know this place. It's a lot of balloons everywhere. Every morning, hundreds of balloons uh, in the air. Okay, that's why you're having these balloons yeah, yeah, as exactly. your dashboard. Okay. Exactly. And, uh, and at that time of the year, it was minus uh, 18 uh, outside. So I spent two, two nights in the Cappadocia with a lot of snows and the balloons every morning. So it was, I stayed just because of that. And Do you then, get a heater inside? No, no heater, no webasto, nothing. Yeah. Do you think when you have done this tour with another kind of van, so not the VW bus T2B, um, would, it be the would, it, would it have been the same? No, definitely not. Because uh, uh, at the, the beginning of my trip, uh, I use a lot of uh, Volkswagen Facebook groups to just to say hello, I will be in this country if you want to meet uh, in this group. And at the end we were 10, 10 cars, only Volkswagens. <gasps> and cool. it's super good memory. Have you ever thought about to break up the tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the same period in Sweden, uh, one week after uh, my friends left, the engine break, my first engine break, uh, was totally blocked. And where uh, did you get the engine from? From a T2A, and this was from a Volkswagen Facebook group as well. A guy okay, so for a very cheap uh, money, the guy just wanted to help me because I was doing this trip. And this is crazy, this, this community around all the, all the Europe and I guess all the world yeah. with these Volkswagen buses, it's crazy. When I'm trying to explain my trip, I always say, yeah, I was to Finland, then to Turkey, <laughs> Portugal, and then back to Belgium. <laughs> Only Just four, four countries. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was way longer. Uh, I drove uh, 45,000 kilometers in one wow. year. Yeah. What was the biggest change in your, in your mindset when you come back after oh, one year? It was very, very difficult. I didn't expect this at all, but uh, the first week was horrible. <laughs> Sometimes I, when I came back after it, uh, some nights I, I didn't feel feel good. I just go to my bus and sleep in the bus. <laughs> Have you heard that Volkswagen itself will hold a big gathering next summer? Yeah, I will. I would. So you have heard about like, it? I would love to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to see you there because um, yeah, it will be a different one, and the last one is 15 years ago. So it's the second one we held by ourselves. I would appreciate if you. We'll join us there. With uh, pleasure. <laughs> that's good. Uh, that's a deal. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> See you there. That's, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing also a trip. I mentioned to you, so I drive with my ID yeah. bus around and um, I think it's a little bit different of driving. Um, have you ever seen this before? No. No, it's the first time I see an ID bus. What do you think about I this kind of stuff? I really like it. And like I always say to people, you have to to be in the time, to live with the time. Uh, and I love it, really. <laughs> and you even haven't driven it. <laughs> no, <laughs> so not just, yet. Let's see it. So, would you like to drive it? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we will make a test drive and I'm really looking forward to see what your reactions are. If, okay. if, it, if it feels like a bus, for example. So, okay. Because you know, if you're driving a T2, sitting on the axle, yeah. <laughs> feel like a little driver, it's, it's a fun thing. Um, it's a little bit different here, but. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to, to get your 
a statement about the bus. Okay, okay. let's do it. <laughs> How does it feel like? It feels very good, like a brand new car. It's driving very good and the acceleration is strong and powerful. <laughs> you have a lot of space and it's turning very good. It feels like in my bus. <laughs> Would you do me one favor yeah, and sign me my kitchen box that For I, sure. if you have met here? It. Okay, thank you. Das war die Bully Love Story aus Belgien. Antoine hat mich echt beeindruckt, weil mit 21 Jahren, 26 Ländern in einem Jahr zu bereisen, mit einem Bus, wo man gar kein Mechaniker ist, das hat er echt cool gemacht. Das hat mich beeindruckt, finde ich gut. Ich freue mich darauf, ihn nächstes Jahr wiederzusehen. Auch ihr könnt ihn auf dem Treffen wiedersehen. Und mit diesen 26 Ländern in einem Jahr, ich bin so ein bisschen auf den Geschmack gekommen. Mal gucken, ob ich mit dem ID-Bus nicht noch ein Land mehr drauflegen kann in dem einen Jahr. Ihr könnt euch auf die nächste Bully Love Story freuen. Seid wieder mit dabei.